Hey guys, MF for version 2 here. Uh, this is the last uh, part of the uh, top 15 Nickelodeon shows in the 1990s, uh, basically from 5 to 1. Uh, I'll probably put a description box for the other two parts um, that I've already done and made. Um, these main five shows I love for the 1990s and Nickelodeon. Um, if you don't see the show that you, you know that you love watching, you know it's my opinion basically. These are my my favorites. Um, so uh, let's get this started. Number five was made uh, September 18th, 1993. Uh, it's one of the best Nicktoons I've ever watched. Uh, Rocco's Modern Life. Uh, <laughs> Very funny, very uh, outrageous Nicktoon. Uh, features Rocco, who's a wallaby. He's from Australia. He moves to America with his dog Spunky. Uh, features one of his best friends, or he has two best friends, Heifer, who is a, a cow that lives. He got he gets adopted into a wolf family, uh, and his other friend is Filbert, who I personally love as a character. He's the he's a very uh, nervous turtle. And he, he uh, Filbert works at a uh, kind of a convenience store ish. Uh, one of the famous line is uh, "Turn the page, wash your hands. Turn the page, wash your hands." I remember that part. Uh, he does it all the time. Um, Filbert dates this cat uh, with a hook named Doctor uh, Paula, and uh, one of the main antagonists of this uh, Nicktoon is. Uh, Mr. Big, uh, Mr. Bighead, Ed Bighead, who was the uh, kind of a frog, and he, uh, he's, yeah, he's joined by his wife Bevel, uh, Beverly, or Bev, short. Um, they're both big heads, you know. That's the whole joke of it. But uh, basically, Rocco is kind of, you know, he's not liking where he's at right now. You know, he tries to learn from the mistakes. Um, Basically, most most of his life is a failure. It's very funny. Uh, like one of the show, one of the episodes I remember was the one where uh, they buy a uh, vacuum cleaner, and it, it completely sucks. No, no, no kidding. The, it completely sucks, and the uh, vacuum like sucks everything, even like even Rocco, like the, everybody, like everything that was sucked in the vacuum, it's living in the vacuum at the end of the uh, episode. It's so funny and outrageous. Like the comedy in this is like, oh, it's like mind, mind boggling. Like who, like the the creators of the show, they deserve a pat on the back. It's it's an amazing tune. Like even some of the stuff is not even made for, for kids, man. It's like for adults. Like you know, when you're a kid, you don't understand what they're talking about. When but once you grow up and you start watching the show again, it's like, oh, I see what they're doing. But uh. It's a very awesome Nicktoon. I love this. Sh I just love this show. I even wa uh, like the big fat uh, hippo lady. You know, it's like, how dare you? You know, like when Rocco, they get the, the big uh, shopping, like, shop, uh, just a shopping mall. Or, you, know, just, you know, I think one of the episodes he won, like, a shopping spree. And he had to get, like, all these items under a certain time. And he gets. <laughs> Like, it's so outrageous. Like, you get sucked into that big lady and she starts going off. <laughs> it's so funny. Um, but yeah, he ends up, like, you know, tearing his, you know, the uh, clerk a new a-hole and everything. And, you know, he, you know, so it's, it was like under a certain time, he failed the time limit. So he flipped off the guy and, you know, he, the clerk gets scared. He's like, okay, it'll be ten bucks instead of, like, ten thousand dollars. Watch the episode. Hopefully, it's on YouTube. Uh, this show is so outrageously funny. Um, number four, in my countdown is another famous Nicktoon. Uh, debuted August 11th, 1991. Um, the cartoon is Doug. If you don't know Doug, man, you don't know cartoons. Um, basically, D uh, Doug Funny is the new uh, kid on the block. Basically, he just moved into this town. Um, he has a dog named Porkchop, uh, and they live, uh, with his parents, and, uh, he has an older sister named Judy, who's, uh, very artistic, uh, she acts and everything, but Doug Funny is, uh, well, he's not really 
funny, but uh, so funny he uh, you know he starts learning through the neighborhood. You know, uh, his best friend is Skeeter, who's a very uh, like comedic character in the show. Um, I think one episode, I think it was the main episode, the very first episode, Skeeter tried to teach Doug how to dance or something like that. And, uh, like, Skeeter, like, starts dancing, and he dances too much, and he gets stuck into a pretzel. That, that was funny. But, uh, one of Doug's, uh, he has a secret crush on a girl named Patty Mayonnaise. Uh, she's ba basically a very sporty character. Um... And she kind of helps Doug out throughout most of the troubles that he has to deal with, with his uh, bully, uh, Roger Klotz, who is <laughs> basically one of the meanest characters I've ever seen on a Nicktoon. It's, it's so bad, I love the dude for it. Uh, Roger has a, a cat named Stinky, I think it was, yeah, Stinky the cat, and he didn't realize it, but you, you thought at first Stinky was a, was a male. But it ends up being a family as she gives birth. Uh, gives birth to a bunch of uh, little kittens in one of the episodes. Uh, but basically, Roger Klotz is Doug's main bully of the whole show. Uh, Doug usually he dreams up to be a one wait, was it a superhero was it Quail Man, and he had Quail Dog. That's so funny. And Roger Klotz is like the main act, the antagonist of the whole show. Um, like, he, uh, he was like Dr. Klotzenstein, and, you know, like, well, Doug had another character, what was it, like, Mala Jack Bandit, something like that, I don't really remember it, but, uh, anyway, uh, Doug lives, um, in his neighborhood is, uh, like, his neighbor is Bud Dink, Bud Dink is basically, uh, how do you say, he's not, like, an inventionist, like, he usually fails on his inventions, but, uh, his wife, Tippy, uh, Tippy Dink, she's the smart of the two, and she helps Doug out sometimes with his problems. Um, one of the main characters I love this show is Mr. Bone, uh, Lamar Bone. He was the vice principal of the school that Doug goes to, and he's, like, so outrageously, like, mean all the time. Kind of reminds me of another guy, you know. Uh, another Nicktoon, but anyway, um, there's uh, the mayor of the show, uh, Major Bob White. He is so goofy as hell. He has a wig, and he's like, "Vote for me," you know. Every every show, he's like, "Vote for me." But uh, anyway, uh, Doug is a great Nicktoon. I love this show. Um, gotta move on with the countdown. Don't know how, how much time I have left. Uh, number three on my countdown, it debuted April 16th, 1994. Um, this is basically one of the main, um, uh, shows on, uh, Nickelodeon that, you know, does non-stop non comedy. Uh, the show I'm talking about is all that. Uh, basically, it's a bunch of kids on there doing, like, uh, skits. It's kind of, it's the watered-down version of Saturday Night Live. It's basically for children. Uh, but it's a very... Very funny show. Uh, it features like, you know, like four of the main stuff on there, like Good Burger, you know, Good Burger, you know, and uh, the Loud Librarian is so funny. Um, Everyday French with Pierre Escargot, you know, that's Keenan Thompson, that's a French dude in a bathtub, and uh, Vital Information with Lori Beth, uh, don't know her last name, but Lori Beth basically does like the information she gives out. It's kind of insane, but it's funny. Uh, but the main characters on there is Keen and uh, Keenan Thompson, Kel Mitchell, uh, Lori Beth, uh, Josh Server, uh, I, uh, what was it uh, Aisha Reyes or something like that. Uh, Katrina Johnson. Uh, she's a very funny character. She uh, was she was one of the she plays one of the uh, rich guys on there, and it's so outrageously funny. It, she does it very well. And uh, Angelique Bates is uh, one of the uh, last characters on that show in, in the first season. Uh, I think there's like, what, there's like ten seasons of all that. But uh, it got a lot better, but then, like, right towards the end of the show, like, like season eight, nine, and ten, it basically, it, it, it ran out of its funniness. I mean, most of the main characters, I was the first on that show, basically left to do other things. 
Like Keenan and Kel, they had their own show, which, you know, Keenan and Kel, yeah, I already had that on the countdown, if you haven't watched part one yet. Um, Lori Beth, she'll have to do better things. Um, there was, like, other characters, uh, other, uh, famous people on there, like, um, oh my god, uh, Amanda Bynes, well, can't really call her famous anymore, but she had the Amanda show, and then she moved on to be a pothead, you know, you know that story, but, uh, there's other good characters on there, like, uh, oh my god, what is her name, Lisa something, uh, but she she's a very good uh, comedic uh, actress. She has her own things on YouTube. Uh, check her out. Uh, hopefully I remember it by <laughs> I'll probably put it in the description of her name. But uh, she has her own uh, videos on YouTube. And uh, she did a thing a couple of times with the Black Nerd, the Black uh, Nerd uh, comic, uh, you know, comedy, yeah, comedy uh, guy Andre. But uh. But yeah, she she's very funny. Um, but yeah, all of that was definitely all of that until the end, anyway. Uh, number two of my countdown debuted August eleventh, nineteen ninety one. It's definitely my favorite Nicktoon ever, ever. Uh, I have like the whole DVD collection of this. It's Ren and Stimpy. If you don't know Ren and Stimpy, you don't know where you uh, where you live. Um, basically the new, uh, two main characters is Ren Hoek, who is a chihuahua, very short-tempered, uh, usually gets his way, he intimidates a lot of people, well, a lot of, a lot of characters on that show, and his, uh, main other buddy, Stimpy, or Stimson, Stimpy J. Cat, as they, uh, put it, uh, but Stimpy's kind of stupid character, he, he doesn't think, um, and they do like a whole bunch of insane episodes on this. Like they do uh, like uh, stuff in space. They you know make they make fun of other things. Uh, I remember the one in space where uh, Ren uh, is like I don't know, he goes insane. And he thinks of a uh, soap bar, the ice cream bar. You know he's stuck in this in, in like a like a bathtub and he starts eating the soap bar. <laughs> so outrageously funny. And one of the uh, main episodes of the show was the one where they produced a song called Happy Happy Joy Joy. If you don't remember that song, you better look it up. It's so funny. Um, but Ren gets, like, like Stimpy made, made a contraption for Ren to put on his head. And it basically makes Ren happy. And Ren kind of... You know, he goes a little shaky, and he wants the uh, invention off his head, so he does anything to get it off. Like, he like gets a big hammer, he starts hammering himself, and, you know, he does anything to get the contraption off. He finally gets it done at the end, and uh, he starts, he grabs Stimpy, starts slapping him, you know, you stupid idiot, you know, you know. But, uh, I, I just love this show, it's so funny. Um, as for my, my number one, is uh, Salute Your Shorts, it debuted in uh, June of 1991. Uh, very, very good show. It's, it features kids in the camp. They haven't figured that one out yet. Um, one of the main characters in the show, uh, Danny Cooksey, he plays a, a kid called Bud, uh, Bobby Budnick. Uh, this kid played in the movie Terminator 2 Judgment Day. And, uh, very good, very good movie. Um, but the, they have eight kids, they go into camp, uh, the camp is run by a guy named Kevin Lee, or short for Ugg Lee, you know, they make fun of that the whole show. Um, there's a nerd on there, there's a sporty, you know, there's a couple of sporty guys on there. Uh, I, I definitely love this show as a kid. I watch it now. I, ha I actually have the shows on my uh, Xbox. I got to save them on my Xbox. Oh, crap. I got to get this video done. Uh, but that number one is definitely Salute Your Shorts. That is the best show of Nick, uh, Nick Williams in the 1990s. And like I said, if I left the show out, I'm sorry. I probably didn't like the show or I probably didn't make the countdown. But uh, that's about it. Uh, guys, thank you for watching. And... Uh, Hopefully I do another countdown in the future. Uh, so, uh, take care.